Did you know your genes have only a 10% influence on how long you live? Most experts agree it's the choices you make in your life that are the most important factors in your health and longevity. In the early 1900s, the average life lasted 31 years. It's hard to imagine today, when the average lifespan is about triple that. But if you're looking to live longer than our average, there are things you can do. This doesn't mean you have to stop everything and change it all. That's not realistic. The thing is to be mindful and make some small, manageable changes. It's the little things you do every day that make a big impact in the end. So let's go through these simple things you can start doing today that will literally add years to your life. And remember, today's the first day of the rest of your life. 1. Be conscientious. Research has found that being conscientious is one of the best predictors of longevity. That's because people who are conscientious may be more likely to abide by healthful behaviors, may be less prone to disease, and may find more success in relationships and in the workplace. 2. Find reasons to laugh. In one study, researchers identified certain personality characteristics that a group of 243 centenarians, people who live past 100, had in common. Among them was a love of laughter. They considered laughter an important part of life. 3. Find a life purpose. In Nicoya, Costa Rica, where an overwhelmingly majority live past 100, residents cultivate a plan de vida, which means reason to live. This sense of purpose often centers around spending time with and providing for their family and often results in centenarians retaining an active lifestyle, reaping the benefits of physical activity and exposure to the sun. 4. Go nuts. Eating nuts could help you from dying early, according to a recent study. The study, based on data from 7,000 people aged 55 to 90, showed that nut eaters, who in the study were more likely to have a lower body mass index and waist circumference, had a 39% lower risk of early death, and walnut eaters in particular had a 45% lower risk of early death. 5. Walk a lot. 123-year-old Carmelo Flores Laura, potentially the oldest living person documented, says he owes his longevity to regular exercise. I walk a lot. That's all. I go out with the animals, he was reported as saying in an interview. 6. Try a little retail therapy. Who doesn't love an excuse to go shopping? A 2011 study found that frequent shoppers live longer. The study looked at men and women over 65 and found that daily shopping lowered risk of death by 28% for men and 23% for women. And if you're worried about the state of your wallet, you're in luck. The benefits hold up even if you don't buy anything. 7. Be happy. A recent study found that among older people, the group that scored as happiest had a death rate of 3.6%, less than half the death rate of the unhappiest group, which was 7.3%. 8. Win an Oscar. Amusingly, a study has found that Oscar-winning actors and directors tend to live longer than their losing peers, with winning actors and actresses living nearly four years more than their losing peers. So you know what to do. 9. Head for the hills. You may hear more often about the perils of altitude sickness, but it turns out that heading to new heights may be a good move. The 20 U.S. counties with the highest life expectancy had an average altitude of 5,967 feet above sea level. That added 1.2 to 3.6 years to a man's life and six months to 2.5 years to a woman's and lowered all residents' risk of dying from heart disease, according to research. 10. Do unto others. Susanna Mushat Jones is the oldest resident of New York State. She celebrated her 114th birthday this past summer. What's her secret? According to her niece, treating everybody fairly is one of her standards, along with taking care of others. The only medication she takes is for high blood pressure, and her diet consists of ribs, chicken, fruits, and veggies. 11. But don't forget about yourself. You need to remember to take care of the most important person in your life, you. Exercise and nutrition are what we need to live a prosperous life. Consider your choices carefully. 12. Put down the takeout menu. 
Here's a reason to get cooking. Research shows that people who cook at home up to five times a week were 47% more likely to still be alive after a decade. The researchers looked at 1,888 men and women over the age of 65. 13. Practice yoga. There are some exceptional benefits to hitting the mat, including stress and anxiety relief, better balance, and increased flexibility. 14. Be optimistic. The same study that pointed to enjoying laughter as a possible factor in longevity also found that optimism was a personality trait linked to longer lifespans. When the personalities of these 243 centenarians were assessed, researchers found qualities that reflected a positive attitude towards life. Most were outgoing, optimistic, and easygoing. 15. But maybe not overly optimistic. Elderly people may not want to view everything through rose-colored glasses. A new study shows that older people who overestimate their future happiness have a higher risk of death and disability compared with people who underestimate or accurately predict future life satisfaction. Pessimism about the future may encourage people to live more carefully, taking health and safety precautions when necessary. 16. Go meatless. Vegetarians may have a 12% lower risk of premature death than their meat-eating peers, according to a study published earlier this year. The study included more than 73,000 men and women who don't eat meat for religious reasons. 17. Put a ring on it. Permanently partnered baby boomers are less likely to die early than their single peers, according to a Duke University Medical Center study. The findings were based on 4,800 people born in the 1940s. 18. And while you're at it, marry someone younger. There are definitely benefits to having a younger partner when you're old. They can help you look after yourself and enjoy proper nutrition. Of course, you probably shouldn't actively look for someone who's younger purely so that you can live longer. 19. Or marry someone of the same sex. According to a Danish study, gay men who are married have a lower mortality rate than single or divorced straight men. The study looked at the mortality rate among gay men in Denmark after it implemented a same-sex partnership law in 1989. 20. Try to keep your marriage friction-free. A relationship full of turmoil and arguments could have an impact on how long you live. Researchers found in their study of 1,700 married adults that the more arguing there was in a relationship, the worse the adult's health. 21. But get divorced if it isn't working. While a happy marriage is a good indicator of future health and longevity, all is not lost for the happily divorced, at least among women. Women who get divorced, often leaving a bad marriage, tend to thrive, as do single women. In fact, even widowed women often do unexpectedly well. This was because women are able to rely on other friends, whereas many men depend on their wives for their social networks and are so devastated when they lose these ties. 22. Brush your teeth. Poor oral hygiene has been associated with shortened life expectancy. Maintaining a healthy mouth by habitually brushing and flossing can lower risks for heart disease, dementia, and stroke. 23. Enjoying a cup of Greek coffee. A daily cup of antioxidant, a polyphenol-rich Greek coffee, could be the secret to living long, according to a study on men and women who live on the Greek island of Ikaria an island where residents tend to live to age 90 or more. It was found that those who drank boiled Greek coffee on a daily basis had better functioning blood cells than those who drank other kinds of coffee. 24. Ride a bike quickly. As with walking briskly, also in this list, the pace at which you pedal your bike might predict how long you'll live. One study found that men who pedaled fastest lived about five years longer than men who pedaled slowest. The fastest female cyclists averaged about four extra years. Among both genders, average cyclists lived somewhat longer than the slow peddlers, proving the point that physical activity is good, but vigorous activity is even better. 25. Or be a super cyclist. Here's another amusing study that perhaps not everyone will find useful. According to research, French cyclists in the Tour de France tend to live longer than their non-cycling peers. Scientists compared the cyclist's health and causes of death with other French men in the same age range 
who did not participate in the Tour de France and found that their mortality rate was 41% lower compared with the non-cyclists. 26. Enjoy a Mediterranean diet. Elderly people who eat a Mediterranean diet rich in healthy fats like olive oil, fish, and produce may have an increased lifespan compared with their peers who don't follow the diet. The study showed that the chances of living longer increased 20% from eating a Mediterranean diet. 27. Stop smoking. As if you needed another reason to quit the habit, research shows that giving up cigarettes could help women live 10 years longer than if they continued smoking. The study included 1.3 million women whose health habits were analyzed between 1996 and 2001. 28. Eat your fiber. Consuming lots of fiber, especially fiber from grains, could help stave off early death from heart disease, infections, and respiratory illness in men and women, as well as the risk of death from cancer for men, according to a huge recent study. The research showed that people who met dietary guidelines on fiber, 25 grams per day for women and 38 grams per day for men, had a lower risk of dying over a nine-year period. 29. Have a family. Becoming a parent could help you live longer by decreasing your risk of conditions such as cancer and heart disease. However, there's a catch. The study found that this information also discovered that the health benefit only seemed to extend to people who had just two children. 30. But wait a few years to get started. While it might be harder for them to get pregnant, research shows that women who have children in their 40s seem to be more likely to live up to 100 than women who have children earlier in life. It won't be physically possible for all women, and that's the point. If a woman has not yet entered menopause in her 40s, she likely has the anti-aging genes required to make it to that 100th birthday. 31. Hope for a daughter if you're a dad. One interesting study found that having daughters may increase the lifespan of fathers. In fact, for every daughter born, the dad studied lived about 74 weeks longer. 32. Hope for twins if you're a mom. Those who deliver a set of twins may enjoy a longer lifespan, according to a report that found that rather than being a reproductive accident that drains mom of energy and nutrients, twins could be an evolutionary adaptation in which healthy moms take the chance to pass on double their genes at once. 33. Stay in school. People who stay in school for at least 12 years have more years of life ahead of them than those who don't complete high school. So stick it out if you're still at school age. 34. Make healthy changes in your life starting today. Adjusting your daily habits so that you eat whole foods, exercise, meditate, and lean on your support system might potentially slow down cell aging. A recent study showed that cell aging is linked to a healthy lifestyle changes, which is certainly good news. And that's it for part one. Click here for part two or in the description below. We'll see you in the next video for more great tips on how to live longer.